Hello everybody, this is Anita from Yagarachar College of Engineering. This is a tutorial for the teachers who dash to teach and never cease to learn. We shall see a tutorial on the usage of clickers inside the classroom now. So the very first step is move to the clickers.com. If you already have an account with Flickers, sign in, get sign up. Sign up is a very easy procedure. You must give your first name, last name, and a valid email ID and a password. And you can continue with your email. I already have an account, so I am clicking here to sign in. My password. got into my dashboard. So when looking at the menu, you can find new set, library, report, score sheet, classes. So new set is a set of questions, library is a repository where the questions are stored, and reports and score sheets contain analytics reports of the classes conducted using clicker, and these are the classes for which the clicker session have been handled so far. So the very first step in using the clicker is creating a new class. So go on with using the web application with clickers.com and sign in and go with new class. So I am creating a new class for my physics subject. Okay. You can even give your course code for creating a class. My class is ready. I have to add students. So you can type the names of your students one by one in each line, or else have a list of students in an Excel file and copy those names into this box. And my suggestion for you is please store your students according to the register number so that the mapping clicker card shall be given to them. For example, if I add student as in Y01, number one clicker card shall be given to the student and the tracking would be easier for us. So assume you have four students in this class and type in here. Okay. Next. So I have four students and there are four numbers associated with each student. This is the clicker card number assigned to them. And when you have added, done. So now you have created a class and added four students to the class. Now it's time to add the questions. So in clickers, we shall add the questions in the library. So, I will move to the library. Here we stored the questions for main clicker classes. Since this is a physics class, I would like to store it in a physics class folder. So, I have a new folder, naming it as physics 100, create folder. Now, I am opening this folder to have my questions. So there are two options in Clicker to add questions. One as individual questions or sets of questions. For example, if you have five topics in your physics class, you can have five different sets of questions in set option. Otherwise, you can have an individual question also. So you can have a new question in folder. So I am ready to add the question here. So I will find the question for physics. So I have few questions here. I am just copying it to the editor. So I have a physics question for the different colors of the stars. And typing the option for that. 
So now the correct answer is temperature. So uh, the automatic selection is A. I can even shuffle the choices. I can even add image to the question by click, clicking this icon. Okay. So I have added an image. So you can find some relevant image for the uh, classroom. I have added the exact scenario in which clicker cards are being used. The question can be a graded question so that the student would be assessed with right or wrong or the question shall be survey question. As we know the survey question there is no right or wrong answer however we would be having the responses. So especially with student feedback or discussion topics, we should go with survey. In testing or uh, the technical knowledge, we should go with grading. And questions of saving, so save. So after creating questions, you must associate the question with any of the classroom. So for this, you need to go with add to queue. So I am adding this question to any of my class. So I let this with the 600 class. So now I have created a question and added to the queue of the 600 class. I can even create another question by clicking in create new. And now I am just copying another question about the Vinland plots. It increases the temperature. Oh, less of that conductor he absorbs radiant heat and so what is the actual choice wool is a bad conductor and again you can add the images if it is necessary but you, you should not forget to add it to the queue we have created a question and now we are adding it to the same queue of physics 100. So now class has been created, students have been added and questions have been incorporated into the clicker session of physics 100. Okay. So one third of our job is over by creating a class inside the web application of Flickers and adding students and by adding questions and adding those questions to the queue. Now it is the second phase. We should have our mobile application partner. You can get the Flickers mobile app from the Google Play Store, install it in your smartphone and use the same email password or username password the same as your web application. So if you have installed that into your mobile, when you open your mobile application, you can see the various classes that you are using the clickers. And when you select any one of the class, you will be able to see the question list associated with that class. Okay. Now it's time to launch the clicker application inside your classes. So uh, when the, during the start of the class, the students must possess their respective Flickr card and they can listen to your lecture. And after 10 or 15 minutes of lecture, a small assessment shall be done through Flickr with a question, with a simple question or a uh, higher cognitive level question. But the question should be having four options. This is the concept of Flickrs. So as an instructor, I so. I so as an instructor, I am ready to play the clickers in my class. So I have taken class for 15 or 20 minutes and I just want to know uh, the knowledge level that my students have acquired. So I am going to check it with my clickers. I have already added the questions inside the clicker web application. So I need to go with the dashboard and click now play. So when you click this now playing, you will get a screen like this waiting for the questions to be on. Now take your mobile application, move with Flickr's application, select the class inside. So
so i am selecting physics 100 class now i am seeing two questions so i am choosing the first question so when i click here i will be getting in my web application so my projector projects this question while i have a copy of this question in my mobile phone and as i have four students these four students are displayed here once these students started responding there is a blue button in my mobile application i have to click it to start recording so once the recording starts each image will be scanned by the mobile camera and if the student have responded an indication in a different color would be given so that the student would know that his or her response has been recorded and uh, the inspector has to instruct the student so that they hold the flicker card such that the image is not hidden and the correct answer what they gave is the correct answer must be on the top of the card so after scanning all of the responses you can press a red button to stop the recording and while you stop the recording automatically you will be getting the analytics report so that's all with the simple implementation of Flickr's interior class. So after displaying this question, let me go with the next question after 15 minutes of demo. So now the question changes. So a very simple implementation of Flickr's. And again you should start the same process of scanning. And after scanning all the responses, just click the stop button and get the analytics. So you can shift close and return to the dashboard. And I'll show you the few analytics report for the classes that have been handled earlier. Um, for example, for a DVMS class, for a question on normalization, I have some three set of questions in normalization for which one question has only 8% of uh, answers, correct answers, and here 72 percent of correct answers. So from this, I can adjust my teaching and make the students to really learn the concept. So if uh, the analytics is uh, the response of the student is poor in a particular topic, I can repeat the topic according to the student's wish. The added advantage of using Flickr is, this is the analytic screen that can be seen only by the teacher. If whether a particular student has given a wrong answer or right answer shall not be known to any other person except that student. Unless the teacher reveals that in the session. So, uh, this, uh, this seems to be a good advantage for a student who is not likely to expose himself or there are many innovative ways to use clickers. The clickers can be used as a team clicker so that student teams can be trained uh, even though the students are seated separately somewhere else they can work as a team and give more answers for their team and it can be for a poll question to know the status of the class for choosing topics, project titles or surveys we can have student questions inside the clickers and we have a lot of innovative ways to use Flickers. So with this, I hope this tutorial would be beneficial to you and I seek you to have an interactive class with your students. Thanks a lot.